Hey, welcome back to Handlebar Garden. Today's topic is going to be Mike's seat, seat. review. Stay tuned. Alright, this seat is the Harley Davidson Tallboy. I know there's a lot of other manufacturers out there that make seats for these bikes. Uh, like Saddleman, Mustang, a lot of other companies, but I went with this one. I actually went to the dealership and I sat on a, a street glide with this seat. I tried a couple of different ones. I like the way this one felt, so I gave it a try. It's around $400 or so. The seat that came with originally, it was okay. It was a little bit wider through here, which kind of made it uncomfortable when you come to a stop. And as far as the back seat, it was a little bitty narrow. It was kind of humped up and sloped back, and it was not comfortable for a passenger at all. So first seat I got, I went through Amazon. Yeah, I got a seat. I think I paid maybe $130 for it. I didn't like it at all. It wasn't comfortable to me. I just, I guess you get what you pay for. So I thought, well, I'll take a turkey carver and I'll cut some of the foam out. I'll put some gel inserts in, which that worked good for a couple hundred miles. And then it seemed like they just flattened out and it got to where there was no comfortable spot. And something I discovered, when it's 34, 35 degrees, those gel inserts, they're like ice. So. I think he destroyed it so he'd have an excuse to <laughs> buy a new one. I'm just saying. But anyway, I went and got this one. We had a big trip planned, and I knew that seat wasn't going to work. And I knew the, the factory seat wasn't going to work. So I got the tall boy. I'm 5'10", so I mean, I'm not super tall, but... This seat put me back where I wanted and gave me plenty of room up here. It's got a flat back, so it's real comfortable for her when she's sitting on it. You don't have much of a backrest, but it's you know got the option that you can add one. Now. I got this seat. I put a couple hundred miles on it. It's real comfortable. So I took off on a big 1,500 mile ride. I was going all week. First day we done about 500 miles. And where the seat catches my leg through here, that first day I was a little bit sore. I was kind of wondering how this trip was gonna go. But by the second day, everything was fine. I, no soreness. I mean, I rode, I've got over 2,000 miles of this seat now. And I still love it. It's comfortable. It seemed like the, the more you ride it, the, the more comfortable it gets. Like it was right in here, it, it felt like it was kind of humped up a little bit. And then you know after a thousand miles or so, it flattened out and it's it's a really comfortable seat. So I'm happy I got it. And like I say, I know there's a lot of other manufacturers out there, a lot of other brands. actually sat on one of the hammock seats and it was comfortable but it was like what you would think of a hammock when you lay in it it wraps around you there's nowhere to move and that's kind of how I felt when I sat in it it just kind of wrapped around me and there was nowhere to go which I can say it felt comfortable but being stuck in one spot for hours at a time I didn't think I'd like it and I didn't really want to pay a thousand bucks for a seat. So this was a, a better quality, but the cheaper seat. So I tried it and I'm really happy with it. And that's just my opinion. You know, leave us a comment and let us know what kind of seats you're using. And how many miles you put on it. 
don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.